and clash of champions and we're kicking it off with the universal title match if you have not watched the smackdowns leading up to this match i suggest you should we had an eight-man tournament to see who will be the number one contender for roman reigns universal title and obviously keith lee came out as the victor he beat cameron grimes in the first round he beat walter in the semi-finals and last week on smackdown he did beat jeff hardy in the finals you know roman reigns did attack him afterwards but keith lee ended up slamming him down with the spear of bomb and his finisher maybe even giving him a preview of what's gonna happen tonight but now here comes the head of the table the tribal chief the universal champion whatever else nickname he has the big dog roman freaking reigns oh my goodness what was the last time you seen this nostalgic iconic breathtaking entrance oh my gosh he wasn't on any of the smackdowns he was probably just in the back looking at the tournament see the challengers that he possibly could have been facing and i don't know if he's happy with the outcome because he has beaten keith lee in the past but can he do it again oh my goodness look at this man want to get an early match attack he has the championship in his hand and he bams keith lee right in the face with the title before the match even starts oh my goodness Roman Reigns being absolutely ruthless right now. I already know. He wants to get a quick, easy win over Keith Lee, but I don't know if Keith Lee will let him have it that way. Goes for the pin. One and oh, a quick kick out. Even the title to the face couldn't do much to Keith Lee. Oh my goodness, the power bomb now going after the leg. Roman Reigns is laying in all his moves, but now Keith Lee is back in this match with a military plus, and he slams down. Roman Reigns in a moon soul. Oh gosh, and Keith Lee trying to go for that kick to the chest, and Roman Reigns obviously reversed it because everyone is always reversing that move. Oh gosh, and a DDT with the kip up afterwards. These two men are going into war right now, but Keith Lee fought so hard on the weeks leading up to this pay per view. Will he have enough fight in him for the actual Universal Title match? Roman Reigns grabs Keith Lee and just tosses him right into the ground oh my goodness Keith Lee gets picked up what else does Roman want to do to him and oh no he tries to go for the punch and Keith Lee finally in control of these things and oh gosh about to slam him down with a suplex he tries to pick up Roman Reigns but it seems like every time Keith Lee gets in control he can't be in control for very long oh my goodness oh he's back in control with the head but what else is he gonna do Slams Roman Reigns overhead without even going on the ground. And oh gosh, a big punch right to the head. Keith goes to pick up Roman, but Roman, oh my goodness, getting in control of this match yet again. Throwing Keith into the ropes and picking him up with the Samoan drop. Oh gosh, Roman Reigns just hitting that Superman punch out of nowhere. This might be a quick and easy victory for him. Oh, I kick out. Oh my goodness, Roman going to the corner. I swear, if Keith Lee is done this quick, goes for the spear, and oh, Keith Lee reverses it. Thank the Lord. I mean, if Roman retains, I'm okay with the But I don't know what. I don't want him to lose that quick. Oh, finish her out of nowhere. I keep forgetting what it's called. Goes for the pin. One, and it's not even a two. I mean, Roman Reigns has barely been hit with anything or finisher. I don't know. We're definitely isn't going to beat him and try to go for that signature, that spirit bomb. But that spirit wasn't there. Roman ended up reversing it. And now Keith Lee is big in control. Up to the second rope and a frog splash. Keith Lee goes to pick up Roman Reigns, but Roman gets down real quick in a big boo out of nowhere. Oh my goodness. It's not safe when Roman Reigns is in control, goes for that spear, and tries to go for something else, but Keith Lee kicks out of it, and oh gosh, he throws him into the corner and slams him down with the pop-up power bomb. Keith Lee going after the legs for some reason. I wonder why, so Roman won't be able to hit the spear of the Superman punch, but go for it, the signature. Oh my goodness. If Keith Lee is going to see her in tap, Fall to the hands of the tribal chief after he went through that whole tournament. Oh, no, he's fighting. He is fighting real hard, and he is able to get out of the submission, the elevated version of the guillotine. Keith Lee got Roman, and he tosses him.
kept right on the ground. Keith Lee back in control of this match. He has the signature now. So close for that finisher. Kept right to the gut. And I think we all know what he's about to go for. That spirit bomb. Remember Survivor Series. Will Roman not kick out this time too? And oh my goodness. Kick out out of nowhere. And Roman is back in control. Roman all the way over in the corner. Oh my goodness. Keith Lee won't know what's about to hit him a spear out of nowhere oh my goodness Keith Keith please kick out goes for the pin a one and a two and a kick out these two men are bringing each other to war right now I really don't know who's gonna win Roman is close to getting a finisher but Keith Lee already has it he can easily just hit it and wrap this match over real quick is he about to go for it? oh no Roman moves out of the way Roman just stomping on the back of the head right now, stomping on Keith Lee. He moves out of the way, but he's not able to avoid the punches and the headbutts. Keith Lee just getting punched up in the corner. Oh my goodness. The tribal chief really brought it to him. A couple of knees right to the side and Keith Lee is stunned. Roman Reigns can do whatever he wants. He picks up Keith Lee. What is he going to do next? Kicks to the gut and goes for that submission again. And Keith Lee is just forced to tap out. Oh my goodness. He put up an amazing fight. When that spirit bomb hit, I thought it was over. But no, our tribe Chief retains the universal title right now. I'm just drained, and that was the first match of the evening. I thought it was such a banger, but I am drained right now. But let's move on to our next match, which is gonna be Miz and Morrison facing our RK Bro for the Raw Tag Team titles. Now, do not forget John Morrison's first match on Monday Night Raw was beating Randy Orton, a former 14-time WWE champion in real life and the Raw Tag Team Champions right now. So that definitely shot them up the rankings. Plus, Miz beat Riddle, so they definitely earned them an opportunity. And oh, gosh, here comes the slow motion. You know you already love it, and they have Maurice in their corner. I'm kind of upset that they released John Morrison. I know it was a long time ago, but you know what? Since Triple H is in charge, they should hire him back. We need this tag team back, or at least a feud, you know. But let's move on to our, you know, next people coming out. Here comes Riddle, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions. He definitely wants his revenge on the Miz and definitely would love to retain his titles here tonight. But at this point, you know, RK Bro has been champion since the beginning. Same with the Usos, Bianca Belair, and Roman Reigns. Who do RK Bro face next after this win? Or maybe they could lose. You never know. Here comes the Viper, the legend killer, Randy Orton, looking at his Raw Tag Team title. He know he wants to retain it here tonight. He needs to retain it, but honestly, they went through all of the tag teams on Monday Night Raw. Like, who is next? Lucha House Party? We have the Miz and Riddle starting off this match. I mean, the Miz and Riddle did have a match on Raw, and the Miz did win it. First of all, is that his signature? I'm pretty sure he beat, you know, Dolph Ziggler with that move, and now he's just hitting it as a regular move, Riddle dragging him into the corner, well, I can call him Matt Riddle now, because they gave him his first name back again, Riddle going for another kick, and Miz seems to reverse it, he should have tagged in Randy Orton while he got the chance that stomps on him, what is he looking at, oh no, Go for the double kick right to the side of the head Miz throws Riddle all the way into his corner, and it seems like he wants to tag in Johnny Drip Drip. He manages to get a kick off in a double team move, and now Matt Riddle is getting beat down right now, and is about to get slammed right on his head. John Morrison picks him up, but Matt Riddle reverses it and slams him down with the belly to belly slam. Now that looked good. And he's about to tag in Randy Orton. I mean, John Morrison did beat Randy Orton all raw, so I don't know if that's a smart decision. John Morrison knows 
is what it takes to beat the Apex Predator. And even in real life, he did it in real life too. The stomp on John Morrison and goes for that kick to the chest again. Oh my goodness. That freaking kick to the chest always get a reverse. John Morrison going up to the top rope. Don't know if it was a smart move. I guess it was. Randy Orton didn't even try and knock him down. John Morrison throws him into his corner. It seems like they're going for another double team move. Oh gosh, throws Randy Orton off the ropes and a double shoulder tackle. Randy Orton gets picked up by The Miz and oh, try and go for the punch, but Randy Orton reverses it, knocks him into the corner, and is about to knock some sense into The Miz with a couple of punches right to the head. Is Miz going to reverse it? Oh, no, after five punches, Miz finally reverses it. The Miz looking to bring some work into the Apex Predator. Oh, gosh, he gets reverse slammed down. What is Randy looking to do? About to hit her with the swinging neck breaker. Grabs the Miz and slams him down with the DDT. It goes for another tag. A lot of frequent tags in this match. I feel like it's been a lot in general. Not from just one team, from both teams. Riddle going up to the top rope. The Miz looks too far. John Morrison right there. Okay, the Miz is a little too far. John Morrison knocks down rail from the top rope but it doesn't even do anything oh no miss reverses that I was going to say it didn't even matter because Riddle was back in control. Miz got in control, but he ran right into a punch and now a running knee. Riddle is telling the Miz to get up, and they seem confident that they're going to retain their Raw Tag Team titles here tonight. Riddle dragging Miz all the way into the corner. What does he have to do now? A couple of knees right to the sides. Oh, my goodness. Goes for the pin. It seems like a pin out of nowhere. One and oh, a kick out right at one ring. You already even getting the ring to make sure John Morris and doesn't get involved, kick right to the side of the leg, and we're going for them yes kicks, the it kicks, whatever kicks you want to call them right to the chest, and a kick right to the side of the head. Miz tags in his partner, John Morrison. Miz and Morrison really want to get this victory. He runs right into a punch right to the face. And he runs right into a bro, Derek, a.k.a. the signature. Oh, my goodness. Surprise, Matt Riddle didn't even go for the pin. He picks him up. I think he's trying to go for the finisher now. Oh, gosh. It was reversed. And John Morrison gets him knocked down on the bottom rope. Runs into the other rope and a knee right to the head. What's he gonna do next? Trips the legs and a spinning leg drop. Oh my goodness. Now that's the signature one and the two and the kick out. And Randy Orton broke it up too. John up to the top rope. I think he's looking for the 450 elbow. Oh my goodness. No riddle reverses it. I don't know why Miz got into the ring, but you know, Morrison here to support his friend. Oh my goodness. Picks him up again and drops him on the head again. What is Morrison gonna do next? Oh no, Riddle back in control. Seems like Riddle trying to go for a finisher, but John Morrison reverses it, and now he's about to end up with the combos for days. Knock him down to the ground. John Morrison going up to the top rope. He does have a finisher. 450 elbow drop was reversed again. Oh my goodness. That was Riddle's second time reversing that. Trying to go for his own finisher, but it was reversed again. John Morrison has a finisher again, and he hits that disco leg drop again. That's the signature. I have no idea who is stunned outside. I think it is Red Yorin, but it's not looking good for a Morrison right now. Oh, gosh. And they just keep reversing each other's stuff. Matt is dragging Morrison all the way to the corner. He is so close to being stunned. Oh, Morrison has to hit his, like, two more moves. He reverses that. But Matt is somehow back in control. Kick right to the gut. Oh, gosh. And he goes for a standing shooting star press, which gets Riddle stunned. And now he's going back up to the top rope. He has two finishers. And for the third time, third time's a charm. Oh, my goodness. 450 elbow spin. Flash. What is he about to do now? Oh, rotates and goes for the pin, but it's still a rope break. John hits a kick right to the gut. Tries to go for a DDT, but Matt Riddle reverses it. Oh, my goodness. These two men still going back and forth, and he tags in the Miz. Riddle, go tag in Randy. That would have been the smart move, but no. He just sits there, and Randy Orton gets knocked down. And a kick right to the leg. Oh, gosh. And now this is his signature version of this DDT. I don't understand the difference between the regular move and the signature. But what is he going to do now? It seems like Miz is confused on what he wants to do. He finally decided that charging up his finisher is the smartest idea. And the skull crushing finale. Oh, my goodness. And goes for the pin. Titles are on the line. One and a two. And new. No, he kicks out. I was getting ready to say new champions. Oh, elbow right to the leg, but reverses the chop. It goes for the most devastating move in all sports entertainment. One and a two and a throw. 
no, no, a kick out. The man seems so frustrated that he knocks down Randy or and Riddle was really trying to go for that hot tag. Oh my goodness, a big punch right to the face and hits him down with a senton. Riddle is somehow back in control. All the Miz has to do is tag in John Morrison, have him hit that finisher, and they could be new Raw Tag Team champions. Punch right to the gut when he was trying to go for the top rope move. And Randy Orton is back in this match, but it doesn't even matter to Miz. And oh gosh, he's still going after Riddle. Miz is afraid of the Apex Predator. He runs all the way into his corner where he tags in Johnny Drip Drip. And oh my goodness, John Morrison isn't doing too well ever since he just got to the ring. Well, oh, I think he's using a little bit of possum going after that leg now. Oh gosh, John Morrison is back into this match and is beating up Randy Orton. Morrison not even paying attention to when Randy gets the hot tag. Oh my goodness, this man is too busy taunting. He gets slammed down with the finisher. Oh my goodness, bro, Derek one and a two. But the Miz just right there to break it up. If it wasn't for the Miz, I'm pretty sure our champions would have guaranteed a retain. And old John Morrison is right back up with that single leg drop kick. And now he's kicking that riddle. Which one of these teams are going to walk out with the raw tag team titles chopped right to the head? Goes for the kick, but it was reversed. Morrison looking like he was to go up to that top row, but hit that 450 elbow drop. That drop kick did not connect at all. Goes for another kick, but it was reversed. Kick right to the gut. Grabs the arm. The most devastating move in all sports entertainment. One. Two and a three. We have new champions. Oh my goodness, bro. They just take the advantage and steal the win out of nowhere. That was literally out of nowhere. I was not expecting that. But Miz and Morrison are the new Raw Tag Team champions just like that. The Miz and Morrison definitely proved that they are way better than RK, bro. And they're way best as a team together. Oh my goodness. John Morrison beating Randy Orton. Riddle getting beat by the Miz, and now we have new Raw Tag Team Champions. I mean, Miz and Morrison beat, I mean, uh, RK Bro beat every tag team on Monday Night Raw, so you know, they could not beat Miz and Morrison, but let's move on to our next match, which is going to be the SmackDown Women's Title Match. We officially crowned new Raw Tag Team Champions with the most devastating move in all sports entertainment. But now we have another woman who gets their time to shine in Naomi. Feel the glow and bring it to the flow. Oh yeah, Naomi has barely been getting any opportunities on SmackDown. But in that Fatal 5-Way match, she took the opportunity with rolling up Dewdrop. They even had a rematch on SmackDown, which another devastating move in all sports entertainment beat dewdrop building momentum going into this pay-per-view but tony storm has kind of been untouched in the smackdown women's division our smackdown women's champion has been through the likes of sasha banks oscar rhea ripley and i don't see her stopping tonight my prediction is tony storm but i would absolutely love it if naomi won the title in this universe mode and in real life baby naomi come back we are about to be underway with the first time ever Tony Storm Naomi 101 SmackDown Women's Title on the line and a Hurricane Rana right to the SmackDown Women's Champion and a Senton. Naomi is not playing tonight. She wants to be a three-time SmackDown Women's Champion. In this universe mode, it would be her first time, but in real life, it would be three. What's Naomi looking to do now? Goes for the punch right to the back of the head, but Tony Storm reverses it. She slams her down on the mat and a big drop kick right to the face of Naomi. She picks her up. Oh gosh, what is Tony looking to do? It was reversed and another kick right to the back of the head. I know the back of the head is starting to hurt now, and it's about to be the back too. Naomi picks up Tony Storm as she's walking all the way to the ropes and tosses her out of the ring. Oh my goodness. Now that is brutal right there. She goes on the apron and dives off of it. Naomi trying to go for the stomp, but Tony Storm moving out of the way, trying to go for the boot, but it doesn't work out in her favor. A whole lot of kicks. She slams her on the ground and another kick right to the back. Naomi throws Tony right back into the ring. Oh gosh, and a knee right to the back. I know that hurts. She picks her up. What is she looking for now? Grabs her and just slams her down with the bulldog. Tony Storm is stunned now. She doesn't know what hit her. And from the top rope is a big elbow from Naomi. And now Naomi going after the arm. That's smart. Her finisher involves that. And a kick right to the gut. And oh my goodness, that is the signature by Naomi. Now she can rather hit a rear view or try and make Tony Storm tap. 
They will be going for the pin one and the two and a kick out by Tony. Naomi with the kick right to the leg and she hits a shiny wizard. Oh my goodness, but does she have the shiniest wizard? We'll see what it knows later on tonight. You never even know she might not even be able to hit it. She goes for the leg drop, but it does not work out her favor. Tony Storm is back in control of the smash. She puts her on the ropes. Golly, she grits her up and she about to slam her with a suplex right into the ropes. Tony is up to the top rope, and she's telling Naomi to get up. What is she about to do? A missile drop kick that completely misses. She went way too high for Naomi. And oh, a rear view out of nowhere. Goes for the pin. Do we have a new SmackDown Women's Champion? No. Oh, my goodness. Now, that was close. Naomi was just that close to be able to call herself SmackDown Women's Champion. Slamming down Tony Storm with the suplex, and she's going after the arm again. It's a very smart move. It really it looks like she wants to make Tony Storm submit. Naomi going for the kick, but the finisher was reversed by Tony Storm. What is she going to do next? Picks up Naomi with one leg and slams her down with a suplex. I thought she was about to go for the pin for a second. Naomi and Tony Storm get it up, but Tony Storm grabs her and picks her up. Oh, gosh. She is about to let the blood rush to the head as she sit Naomi up and is about to slam her down with a suplex. Tony Storm flipping Naomi over. She's going Ronda Rousey style roll through and rips her over on the knee. Oh my goodness. Goes for the pin. This isn't looking good for Naomi, but she kicks out immediately. Tony has her finisher. Naomi has her signature. It's all matter who hits it first. Oh gosh. Tony tried to hit her finisher, but it was reversed by Naomi. Naomi picks up the SmackDown Women's Champion kick right to the gut and slams her face forward. Oh my goodness. This is not looking good for the champion. She is stunned. Naomi looking very dominant in this match. Kick right to the gut. Oh gosh. This is the finisher that we've been preparing for the whole time. Is Tony Storm about to submit? And we have a new SmackDown Women's Champion just that quick, Tony. Tony has been dominating through everyone. Like I said, Sasha Banks, Rhea Ripley, and Asuka, and just like that, Naomi was charged up. She was waiting for her opportunity, and she proved while she definitely deserves this SmackDown Women's title. Two title changes in a row? That is crazy right there. But let's move on to our next match, which is the SmackDown well, the Women's Tag Team title title match. The titles are technically on SmackDown, so you could call them. You know what? They're the women's tag team titles, and it's Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross taking on Shotzi and Tegan Knox. Congratulations to Naomi for her SmackDown Women's title win, but here comes the challengers for the Women's Tag Team titles first. We have Alexa Bliss coming out. Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross beat Dana Brooke and Mandy Rose on SmackDown, giving them another opportunity at the Women's Tag Team titles. Twisted Bliss, a.k.a. Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross, lost their first opportunity at the Women's Tag Team titles on SmackDown. Will they lose again or capture the Women's Tag Team titles here tonight? Naomi hit a shining wizard earlier on tonight in her SmackDown Women's title match. But here comes the girl with the shiniest wizard. One half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, Tegan Knox. And I really have to have all of these girls have an interest in together because, bruh, them coming out separately is like, oh my goodness. Speaking of them coming out separately, they have no backup to protect them. Tegan Knox, you won't even know what hits you. Here comes Shotzi, but it seems like you're a little too late, Shotzi. Oh my goodness, Alexa Bliss got punched right in the face. Is she going to dive? No. Oh, she dived over. Oh, and she's about to slam her down with the hurricane rod and never mind. Alexa Bliss making the smart decision going after Tegan's leg so she won't be able to hit that shining wizard. Oh my goodness, you know, Tegan has suffered a lot of knee injuries. So maybe that could take a play in this match. A couple of punches, kick, and a suplex. Alexa Bliss seems like she learned from her mistakes of losing to this team before. She seems like she's more aggressive now, and she's more prepared to win. I mean, Alexa Bliss knows a lot about losing. She was Miss Money in the Bank in this universe mode, and she failed to cash it in successfully on the Raw Women's title. I know that must suck. But that was in her alternate personality. Now she's back to the good old goddess Alexa Bliss we all know and love. 
Alexa just standing there, but she tags in her partner, Nikki Cross. What's Nikki about to do? Running leg drop right to the back of the head. And I believe it was about two weeks ago on SmackDown when Nikki Cross and Tegan Knox had a one-on-one match. And, you know, they really dominated each other. Goes for the pin and a breakup from Shotzi. Nikki Cross twists it over and slams her down with kind of a neck breaker. I don't know why Shotzi's just standing there. But Nikki runs at her and knocks her off the apron. Oh, my goodness. Nikki wants to end this match quickly, but Tegan Knox getting back in this thing. A tag from Nikki to Alexa, and this is probably the longest rivalry that has been happening. Mind you, these women have been fighting even before the last pay-per-view, so it's finally, it might be ending here tonight if the champions retain. But could you believe it if we had three new champions in a row? Oh my goodness. Now that would be crazy. A couple of stomps right to the head. Goes up to the second rope. And the elevated insult to injury. Goes for the pin. Titles on the line. One and a two and a oh, a kick out. Alexa setting up for a side Russian leg sweep. Oh my goodness. Picks up Tegan Knox at this point. Shanti hasn't even been in the match yet. In the other tag team match, it was so many frequent tags, but we've only seen two from Twisted Bliss and slams her down. Oh my goodness. Goes for the pin again. A one and a two and a throw. A kick out. Tegan trying to crawl that Shotzi, but a double axe handle ends that off. Oh my goodness. Alexa goes up to the top rope. She has a finisher and a signature. Goes for the twisted blitz, but it was reversed. Oh my goodness. And now what is Tegan about to do? A punch or an elbow right to the side of the head. And she finally tags in Shotzi Blackheart. But it seems like Alexa Bliss isn't too fond of that. Oh my goodness. Punch right to the head was reversed. Alexa Bliss getting up and slamming her down with the insult to injury. Oh my goodness. And now she's about to go for the pin again. Multiple pin attempts. One and a two and a kick out. Alexa grabs the head, punch right to the face, and drop kicks Tegan right off the apron. I mean, Alexa does have a finisher. She can easily wrap this match away. A knee right to the gut, a punch to the face, a chop, and oh my goodness, a DDT. Is she going to tag in Tegan? Oh no. She wants to put more pain on Alexa Bliss and slams her down with a DDT from the air. Oh my goodness. And now she's going to tag in Tegan Knox. Tegan has her signature, and now she has her finisher. She picks up Alexa Bliss and slams her down with the shiniest wizard. Oh, my goodness. Now, that was devastating. Goes for the pin. Nikki Cross coming one and a two, and she breaks it up. Oh, Shotzi, you had one job was to stop Nikki Cross, and you couldn't even do that. Alexa going up to the top row, but it seems like she was looking at Shanti Blackheart. She doesn't want her to attack her friend, and now both of the women's tag team champions are on the outside. Close lines are her, and she knocks her down there, and she is stunned. And now that Tegan Knox is going after Nikki Cross, Alexa Bliss isn't having none of that. Tegan Knox gets thrown right back into the ring, and Alexa Bliss going up to the top rope. I think she was trying to go for the Twisted Bliss, but it didn't work at all because she tagged in Shanti. Oh, my goodness. And going right after Tegan Knox, and Tegan Knox is not done. A drop kick right to the back, and now she's stunned. Alexa Bliss with the kick right to the gut and the DDT. That's the finisher. Oh, Tegan just got out of here. This could be a road break. No, it's not one. And Shotzi grabs the ropes. Two and a three. We have new women's tag team champions just like that. Three new champions in a row, but Shotzi grabbed the rope. Oh, my goodness. They definitely deserve a rematch at these titles. Oh, my goodness. They might even get it on SmackDown because Shotzi Blackheart, she grabbed the ropes, but the ref did not see it. We have new champions, but technically, they shouldn't even be the champions right now. But let's move on to Pete Dunne versus LA Knight. Well, now, technically, we can't have four title changes in a row because this is the one and only non-title match on this card. It is LA Knight taking on Pete Dunne. These two men have been feuding for a little bit now and here comes the feud accommodating. Pete Dunne already has one win over LA Knight. Let's see if he can get two or can LA Knight even it out against Mr. Money in the Bank. 
Here comes the bruiser away and Mr. Money in the Bank. Pete Dunn, we were just talking about Money in the Bank briefcases earlier with Alexa Bliss who failed to cash in on the same night she won it. But Pete Dunn, he's been holding on to this briefcase for a while now. I think it's been like five or six pay-per-views. When do you think he's going to cash it in? The better question should be, who is he going to cash it in on? The Tribal Chief or the Ultimate Farmer? And oh my goodness, Pete Dunne just running at LA Knight. But every time they run at each other, it seems like it's never a smart decision. LA Knight in control of this match. He grabs Pete Dunne and oh gosh, picks him up and is about to slam him right on the head. Oh gosh. Goes for the pin pretty early. He wants to end it quick, but Pete Dunne immediately kicks out. Gets up right away and a monkey flip. He grabs the arms of LA Knight and just stomps him into the ground. Oh my goodness. Pete Dunne picks him up. What is he going to do next? Grabs him, kick right to the gut, and slams him down. Oh, with the power bomb. Pete Dunne is not playing anymore. He's stomping the ribs in for LA Knight. Punch right to the side of the head. He picks him right back up with a whole lot of punches. Drops him down with a drop kick right to the side of the head. LA Knight picks him up. But oh, before he can grab of LA Knight just moonsaulting off the middle rope. Does LA Knight even do that in real life? And he picks him up and slams him down with a swinging neck breaker. Both men standing up. He done running away, but he managed to get back in control of this match. You know how much momentum LA Knight will be able to get if he beat Pete Dunne here tonight? He might even get rocketed in the WWE title scene, the US title scene. I mean, Cesaro isn't really doing feuds, he's just doing open challenges. But you know what, he could always answer one of those. If LA Knight is able to beat Pete Dunne, and Pete Dunne successfully cashes in whenever he does, LA Knight should be the first one in line, but the signature, the X-Flex, goes for the pin one, and the two, and the kick out. Mr. Money in the Bank managed to get all his momentum back, and oh my goodness, just all the chops and the punches to LA Knight, kick right to the gut, and is scraping his head against the ropes, oh my goodness, big boot right to the side of the head, which leaves LA Knight bleeding, and another punch. He done is all over LA Knight right now, tries to go for a punch, but it was reversed, and LA Knight slams him down with a spinning neck breaker. Okay, what does LA Knight have in store right now? Is he gonna go for that signature? And yes, he is. I can read these people from a mile away. I have no idea what his signature is called, but he goes for the pin of one and a kick out before two. LA Knight about to springboard off the ropes again. I don't know who he was trying to hit. Casper the friendly goes oh my goodness and a bitter ending for him oh my goodness this is probably a bitter end for la night two and a, oh a kick out usually it only takes one bitter ending for pete dunn to end the match but la night is still fighting hard both men have their finishers and la night is in control kick right to the gut and slams a face forward goes for the pin one and a two and a kick out oh my goodness now, P. Dunn is the one who has another finisher, but L.A. Knight has nothing. He just hit his finisher, and P. Dunn somehow still managed to kick out, going up to the top rope in a big punch. Oh, no, it was reversed. L.A. Knight is keeping his control. Picks up Dunn. What is he going to do next? Bouncing in a springboard off the ropes again. Oh, my goodness. He keeps doing a lot of springboards, and he's charging up his finisher for P. Dunn. Oh, no, he reverses it back. Backing him up into the ropes, tossing him into the ropes again, but P. Dunn has something in store. That wicked clothesline almost freaking kills L.A. Knight out here, but now P. Dunn is mocking him, charging that finisher up in a bitter ending. Oh my goodness, I'm about certain that this is the end of the match. Yes, it is. One, two, three, and P. Dunn building some more momentum, but honestly, when are you going to cash in, my man? Are you waiting for WrestleMania? Just like Liv Morgan said, but she cashed in on the same night. But you know what? Let's move on to our next match, which can possibly be four title changes in a row. We have the Hurt Business. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me?
me. Of course, there has to be an aftermath attack. It, it never fails. It literally never fails. A punch right to the face and a bitter ending. Oh my goodness. Now that was a bitter ending right there. But we have the Hurt Business taking on the Usos for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. If you do not know already, the Her Business was able to beat the way in Johnny Gargano and Austin Theory to become the number one contenders for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. And if we have four title changes in a row, I'm going to be shocked. I mean, the Usos have been the champions since the beginning, but so has RK Bro, and they lost earlier on tonight. And now the Usos is about to attack Shelton Benjamin while he's all by himself. And here comes Cedric Alexander. I mean, the Hurt Business is kind of getting a taste of their own medicine because SmackDown, they did this to the Usos. They're just returning the favor right now in a big old DDT. These men better get their way into the ring if they want this match to actually start. Jimmy Uso climbing up to the top rope. It seems like Shelton Benjamin, I was about to say, he's still knocked out. But he was just taking forever to walk. Oh my goodness, Jimmy Uso is just going to sit him right back down. He throws the arm over and slams down Shelton Benjamin. I mean, the Usos have been in control this whole entire match. It was definitely a good idea to attack Shelton Benjamin when he wasn't even looking and a whole lot of headbutts right to his head. Jimmy throws Benjamin in a corner. Is he going to go for a double tag move? It doesn't even matter because Shelton picks him up and slams him down on the knee. Grabs Jimmy Uso and just drags him all the way into his corner face forward. Goes for the punch, but it doesn't even matter. He should have tagged in Cedric right there and lifts him up with a Samoan drop. Jimmy goes to pick up Shelton Benjamin, but slams him right on the ground and tags in Cedric Alexander. Cedric gets a piece of Jimmy Uso right now and just runs right into a Samoan drop. and goes right after Shelton Benjamin. Jimmy Uso grabs Cedric Alexander and, oh, tries to go for a punch, but it was reversed. Jimmy Uso has a whole signature, and he's so close to having a finisher right now. I'm surprised he didn't just go for it, and Cedric slams him down on the mat. Jay has not been able to get in this match yet. Oh, my goodness, a whole lot of punches, kicks, and all that. Bounces off the ropes in the Instagram. Cedric slammed it right into his corner, runs into the ropes, and a big boot right to the face. It looked more like a drop kick. Goes for the pin. And one and a kick out. Jimmy's on his knees and he gets slammed down with the Inseguri. Shelton Benjamin gets tagged into this match. I meant to say Cedric, but it worked out in my favor. Jimmy Uso rolls through with it in a super kick right to the head. Jay Uso has not been in this match yet. I believe Jimmy should tag his partner now, and it looks like he's about to do that with some double team action. Throws him over in a double super kick. Jimmy smartly going after Cedric Alexander right after. After, I think he wants to take advantage of Shelton Benjamin and goes for the pin one and the two and the three. No, a kick out. Jimmy going up to the top row, but Shelton has managed to get the tag and a double axe handle right to the head of Cedric Alexander. Didn't even see it coming. Jay doesn't even have the Uso splash, but he's able to dive down on him again. Oh no, Cedric reverses it and he slams him down with a signature. Oh my goodness, goes for the pin a one and the two and a kick out. Jimmy Uso gets picked up and reverses it. Oh my goodness, he's back into this match. Oh no, he gets slammed down with the clothesline real quick. Is he about to tag in Shelton? Oh no, he gets up right away, but he tags in Jimmy Uso. Oh yeah, but Jimmy's the one with the two finishers. That's a good idea. Jimmy going up to the top row, but Cedric Alexander's up. He's going after Jay Uso. He hops down, and oh gosh, she gets slammed down with a lumbar check. Oh my goodness, that sell was so good. Goes for the pin, but he's right there in his corner, and Jay Uso breaks it up. Oh my goodness, and Jay gets tossed over the top row. Jimmy gets dragged all the way to the opposite corner, but some reason he wanted to change where he was going. It was a little too late for all that. Jimmy throws Cedric Alexander in the corner with the ball. Body splash out of nowhere and knocks down Shelton Benjamin just like that. Jimmy Uso picks him up and slams him face forward, making him bleed. Jimmy Uso has two finishers, so close to getting a third and a signature. Slamming him down with the Uso splash, goes for the pin. Shelton Benjamin doesn't even try to bring it up too. And oh 
a kick out. Once you hit the finisher, what else do you do? To the person knocks down Shelton Benjamin again and does a double team move with his brother again. Pulls him into the corner and Jey Uso runs at him with the punch. Going for the pin again, but this time using cheating tactics. Legs on the ropes too and a kick out. If they won that way, the Hurt Business would probably get a rematch in another signature. Slamming him face forward. Does no pin combo. Oh, I thought he was about to tag in. Shelton he goes for the pin one and a kick out. Cedric Alexander finally tags in Shelton Benjamin. Both Jay Uso and Shelton Benjamin have their signatures. It's all about who's gonna hit it first. In the corner goes for the signature, it looks like, but it was reversed. Jay Uso just running at Cedric. Oh my goodness, and a drop kick right to Shelton Benjamin. And it looks like he was trying to go up to the top rope, but Shelton Benjamin gets up regardless in a double axe handle right to the back. Picks up Benjamin and all oh, goes rolling with the super kick. Jay is definitely not done with Shelton Benjamin. Oh my goodness. Trying to go for the Uso splash, but it was reversed. And Jay Uso is back in control with the DDT. That ref is like stuck in the corner and trying to go for the pin after that, but it was reversed. I don't know why Jimmy got in the match and he got slammed down with the finisher, which he absolutely no sold, to be honest. And uh, most devastating move in all sports entertainment goes to the wrong one and a two. And Cedric Alexander breaks it up. Too much stuff is going on right now for me to keep up with oh my goodness Cedric Alexander better get out of the match Jimmy Uso better get out of the match I mean Shelton Benjamin is beating him up give him a chance Uso gives Shelton Benjamin a big super kick right to the face oh my goodness picks him up at this point I don't even know what Uso's in the ring I'm pretty sure it's Jay knocks him off the ropes and oh punch right to the face but it's a gurry right to Cedric Alexander and what does Jay have in store I think He's about to dive over the top rope. Tell me why every single time the Usos have a match in general, it's always banging. Knocking Cedric Alexander off the apron. Picking up Shelton Benjamin and slamming him down with the suplex. And he's about to get right back up, but gets sat down with the headbutt. Jay Uso going up to the top rope. I think we all know he's about to hit, but Cedric Alexander is up. Uso splash goes for the pin. And Cedric about to break it up one and a two. And Jimmy Uso knocks down. Now Cedric Alexander and now the Usos just retain the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Now at first, when he hit the Uso splash, I was like, is Cedric Alexander about to break that up? But Jimmy Uso made sure the pinfall happened and now the Usos are still your SmackDown Tag Team Champions. But let's move on to the next match, which is Bayley taking on Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's title. Now, if you do not know already, Bailey was on somewhat of a winning streak all row, picking up three wins in a row for three weeks in a row. Obviously, the last week, Bianca Belair was said to have a match against Io Shirai, but in every single match Bailey did, Bianca Belair got involved. So, you know, Bailey had to return the surprise. And before the match even started, Bailey attacked Bianca Belair, having them have a big brawl on Monday Night raw this is a lot of animosity in this feud but who is gonna walk out with the raw women's title here comes the est of wwe bianca belair which is another one of these people who has been holding the title since the beginning of this universe mode can she drop it here today we already have one of the people drop it which was rk bro the raw tag team champions who've been holding the tag team title since the beginning will bianca drop her title here tonight or pick up another successful title defense. Bianca Belair versus Bailey. Raw women's title match is underway. She runs at her with a clothesline, but Bailey drags her right onto the ropes. What is Bailey looking for? It doesn't even matter because Bianca tackles her right down onto the ground and goes for that standing frog splash. The EST picks up Bailey and slams her down with the Samoa drop. Honestly, if I had to predict a winner, I have to say Bianca Belair. There's no way she'll be losing to that. I mean, Bailey, she got three consecutive wins in a row, but come on now. It's Bianca Belair. Bianca trying to back Bailey up into the corner, but Bailey's not going to let that happen. Kick right to the leg, and she slams her down, really going after the leg. I guess that means that Bianca will be able to pick up Bailey for that KOD goal for a submission already, but Bianca easily getting out of it. 
Bianca looking like she's about to lift up Bailey, but Bailey does a flip out of it all. But Bianca is back in control of this match, throwing her all the way into the other corner and running at her. And she's about to toss her once again. Bianca going for a double axe handle, but catching an elbow right to the side. And Bailey running at her with a crossbody. Both women are just one little tab away to having their signature. But who is going to get it first? Bailey going for the pin. I think it's only going to be less than a one count. Bailey up to the top rope, kind of mocking her own gimmick there and hitting an elbow drop. Is it going to be a one and a two? No, a kick out at one. Bailey trying to hit a mini elbow, but Bianca moves out of the way with a big drop kick to the head. A lot of back and forth in this match. Bianca managed to miss the slap, and she got caught with a drop kick. Bailey picks up Bianca and tries to go for the Bailey to belly, but it was reversed. Oh my goodness. Bailey just loses her signature just that fast. Throws Bianca into the corner and just gonna stomp her out. Oh my goodness. Bailey going after the arm of the Raw Women's Champion. Maybe that can play a part when she goes for the Rose play and a running elbow. Bianca is just so close to being stunned. And another elbow attempt and it connects again. But Bianca Blair is not having none of that in a big running spear. Bailey does have a finisher, so Bianca has to be careful in that. She needs to build up her own signature or finisher. Bianca really going in on Bailey right now. What is she going to do next? Oh, Bailey reverses it. Oh, Bianca reverses that kick. And Bianca was a little too late going for the kick and a rose play. Oh, my goodness. That is the finisher of Bailey. A one and a two. And a oh, that was too close. Bailey was literal seconds away from dethroning. Bianca Belair goes for another elbow, but Bianca reverses it. Misses the slap, and Bailey is still in control. Drag her into the corner, but a couple couple of elbows right to the gut is gonna make sure that doesn't happen bianca trying to go for the signature but bailey reverses it into her own suplex bailey is really trying to beat the raw women's champion right now the est throws her into the corner oh bailey does have her signature and from the top row bailey to bailey oh my goodness this move put out zaya lee but bianca belair kicks out before one and she hops up right away bianca is a beast is this girl no selling the Bailey to belly though from the top rope to it? Oh, that didn't even work at all. Bianca still hitting the double axe handle right to the back of the head. Both ladies have their own finisher, and it seems like Bianca Belair is gonna be the one to hit it first. Oh my goodness, the KOD, the kiss of death. I think this might be the end for Bailey. One and a two, and a no, a kick out. I cannot believe they kicked out of each other's finisher and then kicked to the chest again. It always gets reversed. Bailey picks her up and try to go for another rose plant, but Bianca is not gonna let that happen. These two women just going back and forth. Bailey should be getting her moves in since Bianca is closer to having a finisher, but she decides to lock on a submission trying to make the EST tab, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen that way. Bianca could literally lift out her leg and it could be a road break, but she decides to nail a knee right to the face of Bailey. Bailey thrown onto the apron just to get super Suplex right back into the square circle. These two ladies going at it. Bianca has her finisher. She can wrap it up when she wants it. Bailey has her signature, which she does not have anymore. I guess it was reversed. One and two and a three punches right to the gut to get her out of that. I mean, Bianca, you can hear your signature right now. Bianca looking to do just that shooting star press. Oh, my goodness. Now, that's the signature. And she's about to go up to the top rope for the 450 splash, the move that puts so many opponents away. Way and bam, right to Bailey. Goes for the pin, and it's a road break. Okay. She picks her up, and oh, Bianca has another finisher, and she slams her down with the KOD. Oh my goodness, Bailey is out for sure. Bianca has nothing left in the tank, and a one, and a two, and a, oh, Bailey grabbed onto the ropes, but this time the ref saw it, but he didn't see it during that women's tag team title match when Shotzi grabbed onto the ropes. Shotzi needs vengeance right now. These two women going back and forth, and a big hair whip right to Bailey. Bianca has had enough. Bianca grabs Bailey, but Bailey reverses it again. Oh my goodness, Bailey has a finisher. 
her. She can just hit that finisher out of nowhere. Bianca picks her right back up. Slap right to the face and a chop right to the head. Oh, my goodness. Is you great Kali out here? Oh, my goodness. And a military press right to Bailey, And she's about to slam her down. And I even see the picture in the crowd. Bianca Belair goes for the stomp, but Bailey moves out of the way and runs right into a spine buster. When was the last time you saw Bianca Belair do a spine buster and a standing shooting star press again? Oh my goodness. This match has been so good, but I have a feeling it's coming to an end. Uh, KOD, that's the second one, or the third one, I should say, of the match, goes for the pin, even if it's not the end. Bianca has another finisher. Two and a three. She retains her titles, and she's since where Roman Reigns and the Usos holding their title since the very beginning of the universe mode. The Raw Women's title is here. The EST but oh my goodness. Bailey being a sore loser. She's not done with the EST but the EST is absolutely done with her. That's why you call her the smartest, the quickest, the fastest, the toughest and the roughest. Oh my goodness. She definitely saw that coming from a mile away. Bailey is sad that she lost here tonight, but tonight was not her night. It was the EST's night. But let's move on to the main event of the evening, which is going to be Barack Lesnar, the WWE champion, taking on Bobby Lashley. If by now you didn't get your popcorn, your snacks, your candy, whatever you like to watch this amazing pay-per-view going on, I don't know what you're doing because I already know it's going to hit the hour mark. I just have a feeling, but here comes the almighty Bobby Lashley who got this opportunity by beating Seth Rollins at the last pay-per-view payback. You know, that's when Seth Rollins was on Monday Night Raw. Now he's over on SmackDown feuding with Jeff Hardy, but here comes the WWE champion about to attack Bobby Lashley right before the match. Oh my goodness. Why couldn't y'all wait until y'all got into the ring? Brock Lesnar is not playing. He's just going right after Bobby. He's stomping in on him. Oh gosh, he picks him up, grabs him, but Bobby Lashley reverses it. Oh, now he's about to throw him into the ring. He's like, you want to fight, huh? Let's just fight in the ring for now so I can pin you right in the center of it or make him tap out with that hurlock. Oh, Brock Lesnar is back in control. It's never a good thing where Brock Lesnar is in control. And a big suplex right to Bobby Lashley. Oh my goodness. Clipping his leg too, man. You about to broke it. These two men just brawling on the outside. Don't even forget the match hasn't even started yet. So they can use weapons and all of that. Beat each other down before the match even starts. And tosses him down on the ground with the military press. Bobby Lashley got into the ring, so now when Brock Lesnar wants a piece of him, this match has officially started. And what was he about to do? It doesn't even matter. A couple of punches right to the gut gets Brock Lesnar off of Bobby Lashley, and Bobby's not playing, but neither is Brock. Oh, my goodness. We all really wanted to see this match in real life, but when we realized it was going to be a spamming finisher fest, under 10 minutes, air shenanigans will be in play. It's not the dream match we all pictured for. Brock Lesnar has been pretty dominant in this match so far. Oh, and tries to go for another punch, but Bobby's not going to let that happen. Trying to go for two punches of his own and missing both of them. Oh my goodness. Brock Lesnar has his signature right now, but he decides not to hit it yet. Brock Lesnar picks up Bobby and slams him down with the Spine Buster. I really like that move. The Spine Buster so good, but Bobby Lashley kicks Brock right off of him. I mean, Bobby Lashley is literally seconds away from being stunned. Like, a couple more punches would have got him down, but it's too late now. He's being up the WWE champion right now. Bobby picks him up and slams Brock down. Lashley just tosses Brock Lesnar. Oh my goodness, proving he's not the only one who likes suplexing. I mean, Brock, you might have suplex city, but Bobby Lashley freaking suplexed you farther than you suplex anyone. A couple of elbows right to the side of the head. Brock is just right there from being started. Oh, Bobby trying to go for the spear. But Brock Lesnar doing that leapfrog right over him and bringing him over to Suplex City. Oh, my goodness. Bobby Lashley, have you ever experienced this before? Bobby Lashley getting put in on. Oh, my goodness. But both men are, like, so close to being stunned. Whoever hits each other first. But Bobby Lashley slams down Brock Lesnar. Wasted it because he went for the pin. But Brock kicks out at one. Bobby trying to go for the punch. But Brock Lesnar looked like he was trying to go for the F5. But it was reversed. Oh, my goodness. Now, Bobby Lashley has the finisher 
What is he going to do next? He just picks up Brock Lesnar and slams him down with the military press. Bobby Lashley just slams the beast incarnate face forward. Oh my goodness. Now what is Bobby going to do next? I think he's about to go for the hurt lock. Oh my goodness. How embarrassing would it be for Brock Lesnar if he sat here and tapped out? Oh my goodness. He was swinging him for a little bit. He was swinging him for a little bit. You know when you swing him, they're about to tap out. But Brock Lesnar managed to break the hurt lock. Oh my goodness. Oh, it rolls him down. Both men are so close to having their signatures and finishers, but luckily in Brock's case, he already has his signature. He can bring Bobby right back to Suplex City, and is he going to do that right now? Yes, he is. Oh, my goodness. Right back to Suplex City. You go, Bobby Lashley. Oh, my goodness. That gives Brock Lesnar a finisher. What the heck? What the heck is going on? Don't tell me. Don't tell me that Mr. Money in the Bank is cashing in. Oh, my goodness. You already had a match earlier on tonight. He's not 100%, but Pete Dunne is cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase. Oh, my goodness. I would have waited until Brock Lesnar hit his finisher or something because Brock Lesnar does have that finisher, and he can easily just hit it on you, Pete Dunne, but Pete Dunne in control of this match. Honestly, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know if Pete Dunne is going to cash in successfully. He should have waited until Brock Lesnar hit his finisher because Brock Lesnar has a finisher now. And he can hit it on him or he can hit it on Bobby Lashley. And the hurt lock is in. The hurt lock is in. Is Bobby Lashley about to be the new champion? Oh, no. He gets out of it really quick. What if LA Knight came out here tonight and caused Pete Dunne the match? Now, that would be crazy right there. Honestly, LA Knight would deserve to get beat up because Pete Dunn already beat LA Knight twice. Oh my goodness. This is what I was saying. Pete Dunn just runs into an F5. His air, his arm is clearly under the rope wrap, but he kicks out at one way. Is he the only one to kick out of the F5 at one? Who else would kick out at the F5 at one? Honestly, Brock Lesnar is literally manhandling Pete Dunn to punch right to the gut, and Pete Dunn is in control of Brock Lesnar just for now. He picks him up and slams him down right on his back. Bobby Lashley's just watching this like he just cashed in his money in the bank briefcase. Is he gonna cash in successfully though? I mean we already did have a failed cash in way earlier on in this universe mode. I keep bringing it up but Alexa Bliss failed to cash in her money in the bank successfully when she was Miss Money in the Bank back in the first hour pay-per-view and a bitter ending right to Bobby Lashley hit the X-Plex on Brock Lesnar. One and a two and a throw! Oh, no! That was the closest call of calls. Oh, my goodness. A spear out of nowhere. But Brock Lesnar is up to break it up. And Pete Dunne kicks out at one anyways. Like, I mean, before one? This man is crazy. This man is literally crazy. It's like he's no selling what LA Knight did to him. Oh, my goodness. But Pete Dunne is rolling out of the match. And we're getting back to our original match right now. Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar. I literally cannot believe we were literally .00. Zero, 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 0001 away from having a new WWE champion and Pete Dunne and Bobby Lashley locks into her lock but it was a dumb move because Pete Dunne is up and he is ready to fight just giving them chops to Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar going over here probably to taunt. Brock Lesnar taunting, but Pete Dunne is not going to let that happen. Oh, my goodness. And Brock Lesnar rolling out of the ring and a big boot right to Bobby Lashley. Pete Dunne is not playing. He has his eyes and pride set on that WWE title, and he's already cashed in. So if someone's being pinned and it's not him, I know he's going to be furious. Oh, and Bobby Lashley moving out the way. Bobby Lashley so close to getting stunned, and it looks like Pete Dunne gets him there. What is Pete Dunne going to do next? Kick right to the gut and the exoplex. Oh, my goodness. And Pete Dunne has two finishers now. Oh, my goodness. That's one for Bobby, and that's one for Brock. That can secure you the win right now. A couple of shoulders right to Brock Lesnar. And it looks like Pete Dunne wants to end this match. But, no, Bobby Lashley reverses it. And now he's about to let the blood rush to Pete Dunne's head before he gets the chance to sue Pete Relax him. He done is absolutely laid out. Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar decide to start fighting again and just tosses him right on the ground. Brock Lesnar is charging up his finish.
finisher, but no, Bobby Lashley reverses it. Oh my goodness. A whole lot of punches right to the head. I don't know what Brock was trying to go for right there, but both men going back and forth. But Bobby Lashley picks him up and slams him down. Oh my goodness. Bobby, go for the pin. Oh my goodness. He decides not to go for the pin and goes for the spear. It's a little too late to go for the pin now, but he's not done. P. Dunn is up, and I don't think it's a smart move waiting. And P. Dunn nails it with the clothesline. Oh my goodness. Can it be Brock Lesnar? The rolling out of the ring, but right to the face. Better ending is this it? Do we have a new WWE champion? Oh, what the heck? He stopped going for the bit, but he goes for the bit again. One and a two and a, oh, a kick out. Are you kidding me? All this back and forth is too crazy for me. Brock Lesnar is getting up. Bobby Lashley is back in control of this match and no longer. A big knee right to Bobby Lashley and a double X handle right to the back. Bobby Lashley gets rolled out of the ring and Brock Lesnar back in control. Punches right to Pete Dunn. Oh my goodness. This isn't looking too good for Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn had the element of surprise to cash in his money in the bank briefcase. I think he cashed it pretty early. Oh my goodness. Trying to go for that signature. Didn't work out. He's still controlling Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley, which is so impressive that he's over both of these guys, but you know what? He had the element of surprise. I think he should have cashed in a little later on in this match, and ooh, twisted the arm, and the clothesline was reversed, and he picks him up, and he's about to slam him down with the military press. Brock Lesnar trying to go for a soup like City, but it did work out in his favor. Big punch right to the face and a clothesline. Oh my goodness, now that he is stunned, Bobby Lashley has a signature, and guess what? He decides to hit it on Brock Lesnar. Oh my goodness, don't know why he did go for the pin. I think he has such a big ego that he can make Brock Lesnar tap out, but literally Pete Dunne is in the same ring as you. At this point, I really don't know who's going to win. Bobby Lashley has a signature. Brock Lesnar has nothing, but he's freaking Brock Lesnar. He can get it whenever he wants. And Pete Dunne has a finisher, but, you know, he already kicked out of two bitter endings, and he hasn't even hit a bitter ending on Brock Lesnar yet. Oh, my goodness, and breaks up the pin. I don't know why he even went for a pin right there when Brock Lesnar was in the same ring as you. And Brock Lesnar goes for that kick to the chest, which always gets reversed. It does wonders. And, oh, bitter ending out. Oh my goodness, this is the third one. Goes for the pin, but Brock Lesnar breaks it up. I was going to say third time's a charm, but it seems like that's obviously not the case. And oh my goodness, he throws him into the corner. Kind of stuck against the referee of Bobby Lashley. And he picks him up, but he reverses that. And goes for a double X handle right to the head. But it was reversed. Bobby Lashley going after Brock Lesnar. And a big clothesline right to the back of the head. And Brock Lesnar and Pete Dunne still going at it. And I don't know where he's trying to drag him to, but Pete Dunne manages to get out of his hold. And a big clothesline right to Brock Lesnar, sending him outside of the ring, but Bobby Lashley is in control of this match. At this point, I don't even know anymore. All men all have their signatures. No longer with Bobby Lashley. He just got his reversed. Oh my goodness. Kick right to the gut. And an exaplex. Oh my goodness. Devastating. Slamming him right down on his back. But oh, punch right to the face. The fourth time is a charm. Bitter ending. Goes for the pin. Will we have a new WWE champion? One, two, and a three. Yes. He done is the new WWE champion after a successful cash-in. But he didn't even pin the champion, though. He pinned Bobby Lashley. He did not pin the champion. Oh, my goodness. I need to have a time to breathe. We have four new champions. Four new champions at Clash of Champions. Oh, my goodness. We have new Women's Tag Team Champions. We have new SmackDown Women's Champion. We have new Raw Tag Team champions, and we have a new WWE champion. He's so swag with it, too. Oh my goodness! I never knew this day would come. Oh my gosh! Subscribe to the channel if you have the internal those post notifications on. If you want to see another upload by me, if I were you, I would definitely tune in for the Raw after Clash of Champions. But without further ado, oh my goodness, it's gonna be such a different Raw. I feel like this is a new era of the universe mode. But without further do goodbye. Yeah.